there, you're riding, you're having a good time and uh, taking in the, the outdoors. The fight isn't over. The fight is just beginning. Look at this country back here. This is crazy. All this rock. Just this, the shifting of the tectonic plates and they all smash together. All this just blows straight up out of the earth. That's still, that has happened fairly recently. In fact, entire towns have disappeared because of that. It's just amazing to come out here and see the mountain ranges and it's pretty awesome. I was flying my drone, I went through an entire battery and realized I wasn't recording. So I went over mountain ranges, I found lakes, I showed you guys the ridges and got really close to the rock, followed the ridge lines. Got back to land, realized I wasn't recording any of it. That sucked. So I took off again with no battery and got what little shots I could. And I had to emergency land my drone down the trail a ways because it wouldn't quite make it to me. Sketchy times. I don't like doing that anymore. I used to do that like every flight. If I would have been recording, it would have been a safe flight. I landed it, I mean, it was perfect. Couldn't have gone much better than that. But because I wasn't recording, I had to really, I really had to send it with that poor little drone. It did good though, I and mean, I crash landed it. <coughs> well, I emergency landed it, I should say, with uh, no incident didn't even break a prop or anything so and in this terrain that's pretty impressive really this is such a good bike though man it's been an amazing bike I really like my brother's beta 200 too it's not that I'm it's not that I'm brand loyal or anything it's just <clears throat> This Husky is amazing, but my brother's 200 has so much torque, it's crazy. Some angles in here that are awkward. I don't want to smack my... I don't want to break my sprocket any more than it already got broken today. It's nice to remember to stop and look around a little bit. You never know what you're missing. A lot of times there could be an animal right next to me and I would not even see. Pretty stuff up here.
Look that way. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, probably just got everything. It runs though. <laughs> yeah. Now if mine could do that, that'd be perfect. In 1943, a B-23 Dragon Bomber had to make an emergency crash landing at Loon Lake. It was in the dead of winter, they were on a training flight, and they got caught in a snowstorm. Their radio communications were down, they had low fuel, it was becoming dark, and they had no other option but to lay it down on the lake which they spotted down below after circling the area. When they touched down, they slid 150 feet into the tree line and sheared off both wings. Miraculously, there was only one crew member with an injury after that, which was a broken leg. There were eight crew members. Three of the crew members hiked 40 miles through four to five feet of snow to a ranger station where they called McCall. For 15 days, the crew members at the wreckage survived off of woodpeckers, squirrels, and they rationed out some chocolate bars. It just so happened that a bush pilot saw the wreckage down below and ended up rescuing the remaining five crew members from the wreckage. The city of McCall closed the next day and greeted the survivors. It was not easy going. It was not a fun time and I can't even imagine making that decision to lay down an aircraft. The survival rate of that is not very high. So you can imagine with what these people went through the decision process to make it out of that alive not only to come out of the the crash alive but then to to come out of that whole situation with somebody able to rescue you the the guys who went out and hiked for 40 miles through the snow in a snowstorm the probability of survival is so low that that really makes this an amazing story anyways guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh I'll catch you on the next one.